Now, your Storm Tracker team forecast with meteorologist Ashley Renee. Well, welcome back everyone. We've made it to the end of another work week and it's also basically the end of the month as well, but we are still looking at the same situation for today. It's going to be hot and humid once again, already humid this morning. We got a little bit of rain yesterday. We could possibly get a little bit more this afternoon. It's currently 82, but it's feeling like 91. So as you're leaving home this morning, don't forget to pack enough water to keep yourself cool, especially if you know you have to spend more time outdoors than indoors. And again, just do all that you can to keep yourself cool and hydrated not only for yourself but also for your pets too so they're also feeling this heat and now taking a wider look at current temps is 82 in Gonzales 83 in Thibodeau and 82 in Homa so our winds are out the northeast at six miles per hour in Morgan City and from the east at five in New Iberia now we have a heat advisory once again for today that's that orange color that's covering all of southeast Louisiana we have an excessive heat warning for other parishes around the state that's the hot pink color but for us we have that heat advisory from 10 to this morning until about 8 p.m. We also still have the critical fire weather conditions, so don't forget that we're under that red flag warning. Don't do any outdoor burning. Properly dispose of your cigarettes and follow all the fire safety tips to prevent other fires from starting and or spreading. Now highs for today will be around 100 to 105. We could get a little bit more rain by this afternoon. Rain chances still are a little bit low for today, and heat index values are a little bit lower today than they were for yesterday. We're just pretty much staying around the 110 range for our Friday day to close out this work week. We see 110 for Kentwood, Slaughter, and also for Baton Rouge. Now looking at your rain chances, 10 to 20 percent area wide, but they'll be a little bit higher for Saturday. Overnight lows will be around 80, mostly clear to partly cloudy sky. Winds will still be out of the southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And again, rain chances go up just a tad bit more so for Saturday. We have a 30% chance for tomorrow. Rain will likely be kicking off during the afternoon hours. Now we're expecting that for Friday afternoon, also going into your Saturday. So between today and tomorrow and really through early next week, just don't forget to don't forget your umbrella before leaving home just to make sure you're prepared for that. Now we're also expecting a cold front to move a little bit closer to our area over the coming days. So thankfully we're looking at a little bit of cooler air moving in behind Behind this, but most importantly, some drier air to help it be just a tad bit less humid than what we've been dealing with for these last few days. Now, this thankfully will be occurring as this ridge moves out of the way, so it's still been sitting over us for a while. That's going to continue to shift west away from the area that allow for that cooler air to move in, which will help our temperatures go down just a tad bit more. So in addition to our heat indices going down a little bit more for next week, looking at the tropics, we are expecting this area of low pressure to develop into a tropical depression. It'll It'll continue to move north through the Gulf of Mexico, but it looks like it'll still stay off on the eastern edge closer towards Florida. So as I've been mentioning throughout the morning, not seeing any impacts for us as of now, but if that changes, we'll keep you informed. Highs will be staying around 100 through early next week. Then look at that behind that frontal boundary. Temps could possibly just stay in the upper 90s for the middle to end of next week. Now 